Hey guys, um, I am hanging out in Australia with Andrew Yuko's wild man here. Chachi! And uh, <laughs> we just found this really cool dude. Andrew, tell us about him. All right, so this guy's absolutely amazing. This guy here is known as the short beaked echidna. And you're probably thinking right now, it's a little bit like a porcupine, but they are a little bit different. So these uh, spikes that you can see are actually hard and hair. They're a little bit different to the porcupines in that the porcupines have quills, these guys have spikes, and essentially these spikes don't come out and they're not poisonous. Ouch, so these can just stick in you. A little bit, yeah, so they're a good defensive mechanism, so ah! if there's like a, a, um, a dingo or, you know, uh, another kind of predatory animal, like a fox trying to like, you know, attack this animal. And they bite down into it, it's not coming out. It's not coming out, and these guys will dig into the ground, and they're almost impossible to get out. And you can just see how he's huddled in right now. That's his defensive measure. He's like saying, "You can't get me." Ha ha. Okay, and he kind of like he starts to ball up a little bit. You can tell, guys. He got, he's kind of oh. Yeah, and he does that little <laughs> jerk, which, which is easy to get these little sharp guys in you. Yeah. Ooh. Predominantly, this guy is a termite and ant specialist, so you can often find him on ant hills or digging into like hollow logs where they're trying to get to termites. Mm-hmm. Very cool little dude. He's got a head in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so you can see right here, guys, where he has been digging in this ant hill. Right here, see these little ants crawling all around? Yum, 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 yum. And he's one of two monotremes that we have in here in Australia. A monotreme is an egg laying mammal, right? So the other He one lays is eggs. That's right, he does lay what? eggs. The same as a platypus as well. But this guy here, you can see how he's like... Immature. Have you ever found any of his eggs? I mean, not this guy's no, eggs, but no, have you no, found no. any they're, eggs? They're actually quite secretive. Like, when they're actually yeah, in that stage, they're very secretive. So they'll actually find, like, a burrow, uh, and they'll actually stay in there for, like, quite a long period of time. Okay, uh, so they, like, burrow in the ground, they'll lay their it. eggs. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, So cool. they've actually got a pouch in which they lay, that, they lay that egg, and then very slowly over the course of a couple of months, yeah, they, um... Very cool. Out comes a little puckle. And he's digging right now. What's he doing right now? So he is. So this is normally like the first defense strategy that an echidna will do. As soon as like a predator comes along, whether it be like a goanna or uh, it could be like a, a dingo or a fox or something like that, they'll do this. So it makes it very difficult for the animals actually to be moved so, out of the ground because they're vulnerable underneath, you see. On top, they've actually got those spikes, but underneath, they're actually quite soft. Okay, so if a predator can flip them over and get underneath, then they're he done. Be, he could be in trouble. He could be in trouble. So he digs in the ground, he's got spikes on the top, and he's just kind of like, I mean, he's like a bunker. <laughs> yeah, literally like a spiky bunker. Like a I'm spiky not, bunker. I'm not going anywhere. Very cool, dude. Amazing, eh? Awesome. And uh, this guy right here is, uh, he's pretty big. Like, how big do they get? He's probably, he's, he'd be about an adult size. So the one that we saw before was just like a juvenile. Um, so that's probably as big as they get. Um, okay, so this is like a full-size one. Full-size echidna. That's right. Very cool. They also call it the Australian ant eater as well. Australia. He looks like an ant eater. <laughs> well, he definitely is an ant eater. He definitely so, eats pre ants. Predominantly eating ants and termites. That's their favorite diet. Yeah, that's their favorite food. Very cool. Yeah. He looks like he's trying to peek up and see. Oh, is it okay to make a run on. for it? That's right. Oh. Is he going to surface? Maybe he's hit a rock down there. He's like, can't go any further. <laughs> oh, here oh, he comes. I think he might be coming out. Hee boo. <laughs> At first, I have to think. You know, I have to translate from Australian peekaboo to American peekaboo. 